Welcome back. Our 25 Sports Team of the Week is the Eureka Hornets. Uh, the Hornets went on the road in those road jerseys last week up to Ridgeview Lexington and won the game. The Eureka is now 4-1 on the season. They are ranked number 9 in Class 3A football. We are now joined live by Coach Jason Bachman. We've got a whole slew of people here. Uh, uh, tell us, first of all, who you all brought. You brought them for a reason, and you brought a whole bunch of players. Tell me why real quick. Yeah, we did. So this is our captain's group this year. Uh, all of them earned uh, the captain nomination, so... Uh, we wanted to make sure everybody was in involved in this. Obviously, we consider it an honor, so thanks okay. for having us. And you got a couple coaches on the end, too? We do. Uh, my defensive coordinator, Eric Same, and my offensive coordinator, Kyle Johnson, both came with us to make sure we get everybody here. <laughs> well, yeah, not only drivers. I mean, the uh, assistant coach is a big part, too, abso right? Absolutely. They're, obviously, they're a huge part of the program and, and really have done a great job to this point. So. Okay, we're going to real quick go to a wide shot. I'm going to ask the boys. You're going to have to speak loud because the microphones are over here. But quickly introduce all yourself. You're all senior captains, so go ahead. Andrew King, linebacker. Ben Grover, wide receiver. Kevin Grock, defensive guard. Cade Gold, kicker. Isaac Ferguson, defensive end. Isaiah Hahn, DB. Strong Spencer, offensive tackle. And, and this is a big part of your success. You got a lot of experience, a lot of, I mean, when a small school has a lot of seniors, that's a good thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, for sure. I think it's one of the things we look at as, as, we, as we're building the program to keep that each of those kids in the program for you. And all these guys are four-year players, too, so it's pretty exciting to have this many. You, you've really talked about building a, you know, a foundation, building a program, and these kids have seen it. I mean, you, you've had tremendous success the past two years. Uh, how can this team be better than the past couple of years? Yeah, I think just their work ethic over the summer, what the time that they put in, the effort, um, and also coming off the year that we had last year, uh, the experience that we brought back, hopefully we can use that to our advantage as we proceed. Absolutely. you got uh, every night in the HOI conference is tough. you got a tough one tomorrow. Uh, yeah. A good old rivalry. Uh, uh, yeah. El Paso Gridley. Uh, yeah. Tell me about that game. Yeah, for sure. This is probably one of the, what we would consider one of the biggest rivalries we have. If you go back in history, Eureka started with El Paso yes. all those years. So um, we consider it a rivalry game. Um, kids know each other. Um, it's just it's a great atmosphere every time we, we get to play them. So we're looking forward to it. I know yesterday we had a story on you on our news, and you talked about uh, building relationships with players. And, that, and that's really what it's, the whole team's about, isn't it? It's uh, it, trusting each other and, and believing each other. And you, you feel like this team has that, that team bond. We do. We, I think we, you know, each kid has, uh, has a role. Each kid has a, uh, a purpose in what we're doing. And, and they, they respect each other. Uh, they build each other up. Um, and, and ultimately, at the end, I think that's what it comes down to, especially when the game's on the line. And you've really put a, an atmosphere on game night. I know you're on the road tomorrow, but, but your game night, the crowd, the cheerleaders, the band, I mean, uh, Eureka's a fun place to be on Friday night, and that's something I know that's important to you. Yeah, it is, I, and, we, and I appreciate that. Thank you, because there's a lot of people that are involved in that, a lot of people that do a lot of, put a lot of time and effort into making that atmosphere and creating that for our kids and, and for um, the community, so it's really great. Well, what is the goal going into tomorrow night's game for this team to get better? You know, I think up front, I think we need to dominate um, the line of scrimmage. I think we need to uh, execute. So, we, we got kids giggling in church behind us here. So yeah. we, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're going to move on here. I, I've had kids laugh at before too. Let's let's go over here and meet three of your senior stars. These are three captains who are uh, walking out on the field with you right here. We got Joel Bear, an All-State lineman. Uh, Jared Farney, who's just a terrific lineman as well. Garrett Peterson, a a great linebacker for Eureka. And I'm going to start with Joel because as as we watch the defense stuff a run right here early in the year. It's so neat to see so many seniors out for football, and there's a bond with this class, isn't there? You, got, you guys uh, really do have a, a unit, don't you? Yeah, I think we definitely do. Um, it's something that uh, coming into the season, you know, we were really excited about. We're returning a lot of, a lot of guys, you know. Um, just seniors, you know, we're returning, you know, obviously we have these 11, right. and then I think we have 15 total on the team. So it's, you know, it's been a huge, a huge help. You know, the bond that we've grown over the past four years is, is really amazing, and I think it's what makes us so close, you know, so able to play so well out there. Um, Jared, together, I, so. Jared, I know you talk a lot about Stone by Stone, and this program's come a long way in, in four years. Uh, talk about Eureka football when you're a freshman and where the program is now. You must be proud of kind of a legacy you're leaving here. Oh, yeah. Um, I think that we have a lot of great leaders that, you know, came before us and, and taught us a lot of great things and about, like, work ethic and things like that, and just the fact that we were able to pick up after them, you know, where they left off after they could leave for us um, is kind of our goal. Garrett, last year I think the team kind of emerged with playoff wins and state rankings. Maybe a little more pressure this year, but uh, how, how do you improve on last year? And do, do you feel like this team can be better? Is every bit as good? Definitely. I think that we're so much more mature of a team. Last year we were so young and unproven, so playing in playoff games, it was kind of a new thing for most of us except for Joel. So it was, it was really like scary almost at first. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's sure. something new. Absolutely. I think this year we can definitely go a lot farther. Yeah. We're going to roll a little bit more video of your team in action, but, but Joel, as we do that, uh, Coach talked about it, and I talked about the Friday night atmosphere. What, what's it like to be a Hornet right now? What's it like to, to play in front of that big crowd and the, the excitement of Eureka football? 
Um, of course, it's you know it's really great, and I think especially you know especially in the past couple of years, the atmosphere has just picked up so much, and I think it's really great to see you know the community really coming out. You know, because our our freshman year, our sophomore year, you know, is when it started picking up, and it was it was a really great to be a part of that and to be you know a part of you know Hornet football and and what it grew to be. So um, yeah, it's great you know to have everybody out there supporting us. Um, I just really love it. So, and Jared, I know that goes for all sports. Eureka is a, a town that loves its sports, isn't it? And uh, I, I know it's, it must be an honor to wear that Eureka jersey, to wear the Eureka helmet. Agreed. I, I feel like it is a great honor, you know, to, to be able to wear the green and white on Friday. And um, everybody that comes out to the game, we really appreciate all the support that we get from the community. Coach and I were talking, Garrett, that you know Eureka El Paso Gridley used to kick off the season was a huge rivalry, and I think every game in the heart of the Illinois Conference is a neat rivalry now because of the geography of it. But is, is tomorrow extra special with them just down the road? Definitely, I think it's definitely a special game because, like you said, we are a rivalry, have so much history, so it's definitely one that we want to get. Coach, we're kind of running out of time, but uh, maybe just the last word on these seniors. I, I know you really like their work ethic and their their family. Yeah, for sure. I think, and again, going back to the time that they put in in the off season, I think that kind of separated this class. Um, the effort that they've given um, on and off the field to help build our program is, is special and obviously very appreciative of it. All right. Well, best of luck to you guys. Thanks for coming in tonight. The Eureka Hornets on the road tomorrow at El Paso Gridley.